हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर क्लास 11 स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर 4 मोशन इन ए प्लेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ वेक्टर्स यू कैन रिमेंबर इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडीड एडिशन ऑफ वेक्टर्स एंड सबट्रैक्शन ऑफ वेक्टर्स इन डिटेल लेट अस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ वेक्टर्स यस Resolution of vectors. Resolution of vector into rectangular components. First, we have to know what is resolution of vector. Resolution resolving or dividing or separating. Resolution means what? Resolving means dividing. See here, when the given vector is splitted into two components or more than two components, then we can call it as resolution of vector. The splitting up of a vector into two or more components. This is called resolution of vector. What is resolution of vector? One vector is divided into two components. For example, I am going to write the number 5. This number 5 can be written as 3 plus 2. 3 and 2 are components of the number 5. Is it clear? If I am going to consider number 10, this number 10 can be divided into two components, 7 plus 3 or 5 plus 5 or 8 plus 2 or 8 plus 1 plus 1. 8 plus 1 plus 1 that gives 10. 5 plus 5 that gives 10, 7 plus 3 that gives 10. Here a vector is divided into two components or more than two components is called resolution of a vector. So in this resolution of vector, we are going to study about rectangular components. Resolution of vector into rectangular components. Yes, observe this box here. The given vector can be split up into two or more components such that the combined effect of these components is same as the original vector. Yes, what it means? They given a vector and that vector is split up into two components or more than two components such that the combined effect of these components that means when we combine all these components, then it gives the same effect as the original vector. Observe here. I am going to consider vector R. This is a vector. So this vector is divided into two components. I am going to consider rectangular components. When you are talking about rectangular components, then a vector is divided only into two components. The components can be found at any required angle. But if they are at right angles to each other, then they are called rectangular components. See here, I had given one vector, vector R. This vector R is divided into two components. And the components are denoted by vector Rx and vector Ry. Rx and Ry are the two components of vector R. This is resolution of a vector. Yes, what is resolution of vector? A given vector is split into two components. Here, what are the two components? Rx and Ry. When we combine Rx and Ry, that gives vector R. Is it clear? Here, rectangular component means these two components should be perpendicular to each other or they are at right angles to each other. Rx and Ry, observe these two components. How they are? Both are perpendicular to each other. What is the angle between them? Angle between Rx and Ry is 90 degree. When these two components are perpendicular to each other or when these two components are right angles to each other or when these two components are having angle 90 degree, then we can call it as rectangular components. Is it clear? What are rectangular components? 
Remember, in a simple sentence, you can write the answer. When a given vector is split into two components, such that these two components, if they are right angles to each other, then they are called rectangular components. Is it clear? Now, I am going to consider a vector R along the line O to C. So, we can consider vector R is equal to vector OC and which is starting from the origin O. Observe the picture, observe the diagram. Vector R equal to vector OC starting from the origin O of a rectangular coordinate system. Yes, this is a rectangular coordinate system. Rx component is along x-axis. Ry component is along y-axis. R is along the line O to C from the origin. So, this is a rectangular coordinate system. Now, let us draw a line or the perpendicular line from C. Observe the diagram. From C, we are going to draw a line which is perpendicular to x-axis at A, y-axis at B. Yes, observe here. I considered two perpendicular lines from the point C. One is perpendicular to x-axis, another one is perpendicular to y-axis. Yes, so this is all about rectangular component. Is it clear? We considered a given vector R and it is divided into two components. One is along x-axis which is Rx. Another one is along y-axis and this is Ry. When we combine Rx and Ry, that gives the original vector R. Now we considered the two perpendicular lines from the point C along x-axis. Another one is for y-axis. Now I am going to consider Rx equal to vector OA, vector Ry equal to vector OB. These are the rectangular components of vector R along x-axis and along y-axis respectively. By observing this diagram, easily you can remember we can apply parallelogram law of vectors here. Yes, what is the statement for parallelogram law of vectors? When two vectors are represented both in magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then the resultant vector is represented along the diagonal of the parallelogram both in magnitude and direction. So here also we are using that parallelogram law of vectors. So I am going to write vector R is equal to vector Rx plus vector Ry. This is according to the law of parallelogram. Is it clear? Or we can write it as vector R is equal to, I am going to write both magnitude and directions. We already studied about unit vectors. I, J, K. Vector I, vector J, vector K or I cap, J cap and K, K cap. About these you already studied. These are the components along x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. So here I am going to consider, observe this equation. Vector R equal to, there should be some correction. Observe, Rx i cap plus Ry j cap. That cap should be on i and j alphabets, not on the r. What is the equation? Vector R equal to Rx i cap plus Ry j cap. What are i cap and j cap? These are the unit vectors which are along x axis and y axis. If there is one more axis, suppose z axis, then we have to consider k cap. Is it clear how to write the equation? Vector R equal to Rx i cap plus Ry j cap. Remember the value of i and j are equal to 1 because they are unit vectors. Yes, I am going to write the value of cos theta. I am going to take trigonometric functions. You can know about sin theta, cos theta and tan theta. Yes, we know that sin theta equal to O divided by H that is opposite side by hypotenuse. 
But here in this diagram, opposite side value, that is AC value, we don't know, leave it. Come to the second trigonometric function, cos theta, cos theta equal to A by H. Adjacent side divided by hypotenuse, yes, we know adjacent side as well as hypotenuse. So, we can use cos theta, which is the suitable function that we can consider. Is it clear why, you are, why we have to consider cosine function here? Because we know the value of adjacent side and hypotenuse and it is suitable. So, I am going to consider cos theta. Cos theta is equal to adjacent side is OA, hypotenuse is OC. OA divided by OC or Rx divided by R. Right? Cos theta equal to Rx divided by R or Rx equal to R into cos theta. We got the value of the first component Rx. What is the value of Rx? Rx equal to R cos theta. Then let us take it as equation 1. Come to the second component Ry. Observe here. For the second component I am going to consider sin theta because where is the angle theta? Theta here, I am going to consider at O, C, B. Observe the diagram O, C, B. Then, if angle is at point C, then opposite side is O, B. Hypotenuse is O, C. O divided by H. So, O divided by H means R, Y divided by R. Theta here initially for the first component theta is between C O A. C O A. Angle C O A. For the second component R Y, I am going to consider angle at O C B. C O A for the first component. O C B for the second component. For second component the function sin is suitable. Sin theta equal to opposite side will be R y. Hypotenuse is R. Sin theta equal to R y divided by R or, or R y equal to R sin theta. Let us take it as equation number 2. Now we got the value of R x and R y. These are the components of vector R. Rx equal to R cos theta and Ry equal to R sin theta. Now, I am going to take these two equations, squaring and adding. We have to square and add above two equations. So, we will get Rx square plus Ry square is equal to. Here, R square is common or you can write R square cos square theta plus R square sin square theta or Rx square plus Ry square keep as it is which is equal to R square is common take outside remaining is cos square theta plus sin square theta. Now tell me sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to how much? 1. So we will get R square equal to simply Rx square plus Ry square because sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. We want resultant vector R. So, we can write R equal to square root of Rx square plus Ry square. This is the value of final vector that is resultant vector R. What is its value? R equal to root of Rx square plus Ry square. Yes. So, this is all about magnitude of vector R. R is a vector. Vector is having both magnitude and direction. Now we got magnitude. Let us find its direction. Again, I am going to consider the same equations. Equation 1 is Rx equal to R cos theta. Equation 2 is Ry equal to R sin theta. Using these two equations, let us find direction of resultant vector. Direction of resultant vector is given as, yes, Dividing equation 2 by equation 1. Observe these two equations. I am going to divide equation 2 by equation 1. That is Ry divided by Rx equal to R sin theta divided by R cos theta. 
R will get cancelled. Sin theta divided by cos theta equal to tan theta. So, Ry by Rx equal to tan theta or we can write theta equal to when tan is taken to RHS side, it will become inverse. So, tan inverse of Ry divided by Rx. So, this gives direction of a vector and this equation gives magnitude of vector. Magnitude is r equal to root of rx square plus ry square and direction of the vector is theta equal to tan inverse of ry divided by rx. So, this is all about rectangular components of a vector r, magnitude as well as direction. Similarly, for three dimension, till now we consider only two axes, x axis and y axis. If there are three axes, three dimensions, then how to write the resultant vector? Directly we can write, observe here, for three dimensions, I am going to write r equal to rx i cap plus ry j cap plus rz k cap. Is it clear? i cap, j cap and k cap, these are the unit vectors means its value is equal to 1 and these are for x, y and z axis, right? So, for magnitude of r is mod r, mod gives only magnitude. So, r equal to root of rx square plus ry square plus rz square for 3 dimensional and direction of the vector that is given by vector means it is having both magnitude as well as direction. Here I am going to consider vector A is equal to A into A cap. A gives magnitude, A cap gives direction because it is having both magnitude and direction. Here where A is a vector, A is magnitude of vector A, A cap is direction of vector A. When we consider three dimensional vector A, I cap, J cap and K cap, these are, these gives the directions of vectors. Yes, we know that a unit vector is given a vector divided by magnitude of that vector. You already studied about unit vector, you can remember. Given a vector divided by magnitude of that vector, so we can write a cap equal to vector A divided by magnitude of vector A. That is vector A divided by A. This is according to unit vector. Is it clear? So, this is for three dimensional. So, today we studied resolution of vectors into rectangular components.